Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much, you know, for the support. Our um, community is growing fast and um, more are coming back that, you know, we all can be able to relate to one way or another. And it's just like, we're all teachers and students towards everybody's journey. So with that being said, much love to all, namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have uh, been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, drop me a line or two. I'll love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift, how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. And if you feel like the videos are giving you good vibes or good information, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath. They're going through some trying times right now and need you know confirmation of validation or even spiritual guidance towards their soul path or even life purpose please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you once again for the love and support and i love you from the bottom of my heart and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today it is uh, my meditation music I'm listening to is 852 Hertz, Returning to Spiritual Order, Third Eye Chakra Healing Sleep Meditation, 444 Hertz. You know that 444, we never know what's going on behind the scenes for our life journey. Um, I've been getting a lot of 444 Hertz. Um, and my video today is Twin Flame 101. Uh, hey, Ocas, when you have uh, plans for your plans for a vision but God already has a blueprint to your blessings and that is so true I said I heard that and I don't know how that came to me but I think it was I was watching a motivational video or something and it just popped up in my head because when I asked for content I asked you know the universe to give me the content of the things that I need to focus on for as well as myself to be able to help others as well along the way so you know it's just like we all have plans we you know you go to school you go to college you know, you set, you know, you set your standards high, you know, put, you know, write your goals down, your short term goals, your long term goals, you know, and a lot of times we feel like we have our life all figured out. But there are certain things that comes along the way can really shake us up, especially if you're an empath and you're not really truly knowing, you know, what's all going on in your life. Why are things happening the way they happen? You know, all these different things allow us, you know, learn on the way. But it's just like a lot of times we can have things that we figure out what we're going to do or whatever. I thought I was going to do this and this and this and that for my life. Boy, the universe, God, <laughs> everything I worship just threw a monkey wrench in my whole project. Because, you know, I wasn't, you know, I was always on the verge since I was younger. I always said that, um, that I was going to sit up here and help the universe some kind of way, help, help help push out love because it was just so many things are in life that happens yeah, yeah. my granddaughter's here y'all so if you hear my daughter granddaughter uh in the background this she's over here you know eating and stuff so it is just like all these different things happen in our life that you know guide us towards clarity um doing things that they post you need to do and uh her, her mom gonna kill me if she see her on this camera um, going through these different things in life, you know, it teaches us a lot. It has us grow, you know, no matter what it is. You know, I wasn't planning to be a YouTube blogger. I didn't know what this was going to bring me to. You know, I was on the verge of just wanting to know my biological family. You know, I've been wanting to know this since I was like five or six years old. Because I know it was just something telling me that my family I was with was not my family. But they loved me at that point in time. You know, I really feel like they loved me. Well, at least my mom did, <laughs> you know, until, you know, things went sour or whatever. But, you know, we picked the, we picked, stop. We picked the people that, you know, we tend to be in our lives and stuff like that for our journey. But it's like, you know, God and universe arranges things for our life where, you know, we might want these things for ourselves as well as our children and it's just like it can go totally opposite it actually can go for that if it's truly meant for us to do this stuff in life or you know um guides us to do something else because it's like when i first did this i was doing video diaries at first and then i always watch youtube 
and you know I was interested in stuff like that but I didn't know if this is how I was going to do it I knew I was on a mission for something but just didn't know how it was going to occur so it's it's just like you know spirit guides allowed me to go through what I had to go through because you know we always go through a series of you know awakening we go through tragic situations we try to heal we try to find out why we had to go through the things we went through but it was like a true blessing for me you know I had to be able to look at it as a positive viewpoint it took a long time for me to have to do that and it was just like there's many a days I sat here and cried you know I was depressed you know trying to understand why things were the way they were you know wanting to meet my family then finding out who my dad was was a big tragedy to me because I always knew my dad was like a, a you know a mystery person in my life um, not understanding why this man kept constantly coming into my dreams, why I was always running from things, you know, that was, you know, I was running from the truth. You know, my dad was like, I could be at a, it would be at a party, it, you know, in my dream, and it would be a grunge thing or whatever. And I used to be scared of punk rockers. I don't understand why, but it was probably, you know, basically the truth that was coming out for me that I truly didn't know. And, you know, when you're when you're in that twin flame thing, there's always a runner and there's a chaser. There's one that's always fully awake trying to guide that other, the other half of them, the knowledge and stuff that they need to know. So it took my dad's death for everything to come forward because there's a lot of things that were altered in my life, you know, because of night terrors, you know, screaming and hollering during the time, sleepwalking, you know, getting violent in my sleep. You know, there was a lot of things that occurred in my life that has brought me to this point. And it was just, you know, I knew I was going to try to make an impact on the world and just didn't know. And, you know, being able to not know I was sure of myself, didn't have the confidence, you know, um, to know where, you know, this stuff was going to lead me. Sit back, baby. Um, and, you know, being able to go through that, it, it was very, it was very tragic, but it was, it, it was lifelong lessons that has carried me along the way, you know, because I had, a uh, a toxic relationship with my family as well as my children you know because I passed that on to them from what I learned in my my relationship with my family so just being able to try to correct the, my mistakes that I've done you know we can't turn back time but you can always make it better for yourself if you really want things to change you know if you want a better relationship with your children or better communication with your children or even with family and you know it's something that can be fixed you have to work on that so it's just all the things that I've done you know I didn't know where this was going to take me I didn't know if anybody was going to believe me um taking fact of the things that has occurred to my life you know I had to go through really trying things you know because of the fact is who my father was you know uh, I had one parent that was very supportive of it, and I had one parent that was very env envious of that. So they, you know, my mom was there to support me on every step of the way, you know, but she had to be it very secretly, <laughs> you know. So it was just a lot of tragic situations that came into my life, you know, not finding out the whole truth. Well, you know, some of the truth to get me to where I needed to be, you know, until after my dad's passing, which was very tragic for me. You know, um, it takes a day to day healing process, especially, you know, um, with him being in the public eye, especially with him being famous. Um, it was very tragic, but it's just the fact is we, we connect. We are back in connection. That's the blessing about it because we were through separation for so long, you know, I wasn't able to acknowledge my dad. Anytime, you know, it was brought up or I emulated him, I was very punished. I was punished very bad for it. So it was like something I couldn't speak on. And it just got to that point. If you know, if you're one of those type of children that have been through some very painful situations, you suppressed a lot of things to the point where you wanted to forget. And it had to go through that for, you know, for me to be able to have that impact. And, you know, knowing that my dad was always there spiritually, you know, and wanted to be there physically, but, you know, things happen the way they happen, you know, for it not to occur. So all these things, I had to go down this, you know, this road of knowledge, you know, self-acceptance, uh, learning about myself and knowing what gifts I needed to embrace. And a lot of that stuff did not sit well with me because I'm just like, is this true? Is, you know, reading about stuff like this and my jaw just dropped on a lot of things that I didn't know that I was. But knowing that, uh, hey, baby, but knowing, <laughs> knowing, you know, all the things that had to happen the way they happened was truly a blessing for me. Um, being able to, you know, accept that, you know, you won't get me in trouble. <laughs> Your mama said she didn't want you in no videos, but mama. Of, yeah, mama's gone. So, you know, going through all these different situations and being able to experience them.
um, knowing that, you know, there's mistakes that I've made in my life, the setbacks I've had in my life that, you know, I learned from, I, you know, I make videos from that. And, you know, that, that Papa. yes, you see Papa, she's looking at my dad's picture and she Papa. always calls him Papa. Papa. Yes. <laughs> so you go through all these different things in life and be able to Papa. learn. Yes, baby. Shh. So you go through all these different things in life to be able to acknowledge, you know, what has been, you know, unveiled to us whoa it's been veiled for so long you had to be going through a you know a series of events mishaps tragic situations for you to be able to embrace what has you know been laying dormant for so long you know it's just like when we have been with our higher selves we knew what we had to go through we knew how we had to get through it but it had to be something you know we had to have our yes baby shh, shh. be quiet you know going through all that you know, you had to be able to experience all the different things that have occurred in your life and, you know, um, being able to acknowledge that and being able to see what I have to see, you know, nothing's easy like that, you know, um, being able to head towards the things you really want in life, you have to go through some really tragic things and it has to be a little bit difficult for you because the universe wants to see how bad you need it, you know, you know back no matter how bad you want it, because a lot of times our situations that we're placed in, it makes you feel like things are unfair. Like, is God listening to me? Am I being heard? There's days I've said that. I haven't put it in videos and just broke down in tears, you know, knowing that, you know, my father was a in the public eye, a celebrity. He's influenced a lot of people. And it's just like having to grieve with that is like always, you know, when you have your favorite artist or musician that has passed on is a lot you know, it, especially if they helped you, their music has helped you get through a lot of things. That can be very tragic, but with you actually being, you know, that's your father, you know, it, it took a lot for me. You know, it, a lot of things has helped me heal because a lot of people, you know, share his pictures, they share his videos, you know, uh, things that happen in his life that, you know, other people witness, you know, being able to be blessed to know certain people personally that was in his circle, you know, just be able to know the parts that I didn't know and being able to share the things with them they didn't know, you know, was truly a blessing to me. And it's just like some people had good things to say about my dad. Some people had not so good things to say about my dad, you know, uh, but everybody, you know, has their own situation or own experience that you have to go through. You know, I really see my dad as, you know, having a lot of strength and, you know, he, he didn't, you know, he like put up a, a shield when it came to certain emotions in his life. And he had to do, do that for him to be able to get through it. You know, he always said he didn't reminisce on the past. He couldn't because it was very dark. It was very painful. A lot of things he wouldn't, you know, experienced in life. He, you know, he didn't want you to know him. He wanted you to know him through his music. So it, it was just a lot of things that he went through. And it, it was just amazing when things went on because the person I knew was totally opposite from the people that, you know, he allowed people to see. So it was just like when I found out Prince was my dad, it was just like, wait a minute, you know, I've talked to this man and he never acted like, you know, he's this big sex symbol back in the day. Well, he still was attractive. So, he, you know, people still talked about him like they did that, but he really evolved into a different person. Um, he got very spiritual and stuff like that. It's just like, I was proud of my dad on every aspect of his life. You know, you know, everybody has a past and stuff like that. Um, but it's just, his was more in the public for it. So it's just like people go through things and, you know, I, I had to be able to witness that because it's just like, you know, I had some people ask me, it's like, Dag, is he, you know, is he like this, you know, where he showed people on camera? I didn't see that. You know, it was just like when we talked, it was like all walls are, you know, just shut down. You know, he really showed me who he was because a lot of people that, you know, I know from his circle, he was like, he was a very private person and he didn't really talk too much about his private life. You know, he's funny and, you know, he does things that's off the wall but he was kind, but it was just like with him, you know, it, it was like, even though he was supposed to be like a family friend that, uh, yeah. sh sh constantly, yeah. you know, went through, um, experiences with me, you know, I didn't get to see that person. So it was just like the person I knew, you know, it was like, dad, why does he feel like a dad figure to me all the time? Cause we used to talk a lot. It would make it seem like this is your dad that you're talking to, even though I, had a dad, I was there, but it would just didn't make any sense to me because the feelings, the vibes that he would give off, you know, you talk to your child like that. So it's just being able to 
put two and two together, it was like jaw dropping. So, but it was just, then things started make, making sense from the things that I suppressed in life. So it's just like, you have to go through things, you know, going through spiritual awakenings, not pretty. You have to go through something very tragic. You have to like lose a loved one, uh, lose a job, be homeless, um, go through abuse. It's just all these different things that had to go on in my life. And it's just like, for me, not really having closure, you know, if you have ever lost a parent, you know, what pain that can bring on, you know, you feel like, you know, the circuit of life, you know, people live to die just to be reincarnated again. And it's just, you know, knowing what I know, it was hard, you know, because it's just like, anytime we talked, it was always like a secret. Like, he had to be careful what he said. The only way he could keep in communication with me if he didn't truly tell me who he was to me. But it was like, I've even asked my mom, you know, Mom, why does every time I talk to Uncle Roger, it always seems like I keep getting this face of Prince. And my mom used to like, did somebody tell you something? I was like, no. He just told me he was Prince's best friend. And, you know, they, they, they're on the road together. He's in the band. So, you know, it was just like, think that was the only way he can be able to communicate with me for. So, wait a minute, baby. So it was just like all these different incidences had to go through. You know, I felt like I had my life planned out for me and my children and as well as my granddaughter actively. So uh, going through all these different things has been hard, but it's also been blessings at the same time. You know, being able to acknowledge the different things that has happened and, you know, uh, learning the things that I didn't know about myself and, you know, about the things that was in my surroundings. It was hard to really cope with that, you know, and it wasn't something I wanted to cope with. I wanted to be able to deal with it. So, oh my God, child, stop. So you're going through all these different things and, you know, you have to be able to go through them for them to occur. But, you know, um, when you feel like you have your life printed out in a blueprint, <laughs> you have goals, you have things that you're reaching hard for. But if the universe knows that you are worthy of more than that, you know, they're going to send you towards that. So you have to be, you have to be mindful of the things that comes your way, because it's like, you might have something planned for yourself, but, you know, being able to go for those dreams and go for those goals, you know, the universe, mutable, ugh, the universe might feel like you, uh, you are better than what you planned for. So you have to be able to go through things and, um, basically experience them for, you know, for you to be able to understand like, wow, my life was bigger than, you know, I thought I was, you know, you might have picked something that, that you really truly wanted that made an impact, but something had to go through in your life that was bigger than that to head you towards something, you know, that you never dreamed of. So being able to learn all these things, you know, it's been hard for me because, it's just like not being able to reconnect with my family that way and, you know, not having the answers, not knowing who did these things to my dad, you know, and it's a lot of things that, you know, I, I need to have answers for, but I know in due time, it'll happen. Every, everything happens divine timing. So, you know, I just pray for that, that knowledge and uplift, you know, I know I'm doing my thing. I just take day by day, you know, um, and hope for the best. So it's just like when you're going through things, you know, you have to really be able to sit back and look at, you know, what the universe has to offer you. You know, um, we might feel like things that we're currently going through are not fair. Um, the universe is allowing a lot of things to occur that might hurt you in a bad way, you know, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, even sexually, you know, but you had to be able to go through those things to be able to appreciate the blessings that are on their way to you. You know, a lot of times we have to be able to fulfill that karma for our life as well as somebody else's life, you know, learning about all our, our gifts and stuff that, you know, that are presented in our life that we truly need to go for. So allow yourself to know you know, what you need to know about yourself, you know, don't get upset when things doesn't go your way, because, you know, you might have something set out for you, um, for a certain thing, and then God's going to have something else better for you down that line. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video, y'all, my bad about my grandbaby, but you know, if you have children, toddlers, you already know what goes on, then you can't get your full attention out towards certain things. Um, but I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. I send many, much love to you and many blessings, whatever you are wanting to occur in your life. I hope you get everything you're supposed to fulfill. Um, so, uh, you're going through this and I want to see, let me give me a post notification shout out. 
um, okay. uh, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, drop me a line, share, give me a thumbs up. Okay. Yes, and yeah. I'll give, uh, um, and I would love to give a post notification out to Harrison uh, uh, Bortolin. Uh, much love to you. I hope I didn't pronounce your last name wrong, but um, I would love to give a shout out to you and much love and welcome to the, you know, the YouTube fam. And, you know, send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And I hope you have a blessed remaining of your week and you have everything that's coming into the future is true, true blessings. And I will see you on my next video. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can because you never know your kindness and really takes my a long way. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace.